Hey, it's Adam, and in this video, I want to talk about how smoking weed affects the mind. And I specifically want to talk about how smoking weed affects your mental clarity, how smoking weed affects your thoughts, and how smoking weed affects your mindfulness and your ability to stay grounded and present. Now, me personally, I have spent over four years practicing daily meditation for over an hour, sometimes two hours every single day. I'm super passionate about observing my mind and training my mind to stay present and grounded in the moment. And I've also spent a couple years smoking weed on and off, sometimes every day, sometimes not for months. And I have a lot of experience and first person experience with how smoking weed affects your mental clarity and how it affects me during my meditation practice, which is literally just me sitting and observing my thoughts. So in general, I think that if you want to have the most mental clarity, then you should definitely cut down your cannabis smoking habit. I'm going to be talking about some different spiritual perspectives for why I think smoking weed is actually taking away from your mental clarity and why it should only be enjoyed in moderation. So in my first person experience, when I smoke weed, I feel pretty amazing for the first 20 to 30 minutes. I feel like everything is more important and like I can focus on and be more grateful for my present experience. So the music that I'm listening to becomes even better or the food that I'm eating becomes even tastier or the person that I'm talking to, especially if I smoked with them, I feel like I can connect with them and I can laugh and I can feel happy. And this is all cool. Now, I, I realize that there are some benefits to smoking weed, and I also realize that there are a lot of negatives to smoking weed. So after this 20, 30 minutes of feeling high and feeling good, I generally start to go down and I start to get less high and then the crash comes on. And what I feel during this down period is I feel a lot more monkey mind, a lot more stuck in my head. Sometimes I get more anxiety. It's a lot more difficult for me to stay grounded and present. I get a lot more brain fog. And I also get a lot more cravings for just eating a ton of food or watching six hours of Netflix. Or watching porn, playing video games, a lot, lot more cravings. So in general, weed affects this area we have to understand the chakra system so whether or not you believe in chakras it really doesn't matter what i just want to say is that the body has energy in it that there's energy that flows through the body you know this is true for when you become sexually aroused there's a lot of energy that flows to your genitals when you're exercising there's a lot of energy your body is an energetic vessel. And the chakra system basically states that there's seven main areas that the energy flows through and pools in. And each of these seven chakras located at the root, at the navel, at the solar plexus, at the chest, the heart chakra, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. All of the, these have to do with different types of energy and different aspects of your life. So taking some type of drug like marijuana has effects on your energy and marijuana specifically, I notice really, really stimulates the third eye and the crown chakra. Now these energy centers have a lot to do with awareness, has a lot to do with insight the third eye has to do with seeing clearly and it also has to do with creativity and that's why a lot of weed smokers tend to also be very creative like artists or 
the people that make Rick and Morty or the people that make TV shows, a lot of creatives tend to enjoy smoking weed because it opens up your third eye chakra. Now this creativity basically comes in the form of thought downloads. When I smoke weed, I feel like thoughts from almost out in the universe are almost assaulting my mind. And it feels like my mind is becoming filled with a lot of really funny, really cool or profound thoughts. And this can be a fun experience, but when I'm trying to practice meditation or I'm trying to connect with an, another human being and stay grounded in the present moment, it's very easy for me to get lost in these thoughts and that can make me very anxious or make me very ungrounded. So when the third eye and the crown chakra are being stimulated by this weed smoking, basically what's happening is that all of the uh, these upper chakras, they have a lot to do with intuition, they have a lot to do with creativity, like I said, and what you're naturally gonna wanna do is all of this energy, you're gonna want to bring it down, down the chakra center into your throat, into your heart, solar plexus, navel, and root. Now, the way that most people try and bring this energy down is by eating food, because that brings it down into the stomach, by having sex, and also what helps me a lot personally is music and singing. So when I smoke weed, I need, need, need some type of music because that helps me bring the energy down into my throat chakra, which rules music. And if I can do some type of deep breathing into my heart and open up my heart, then I can have a full energetic experience However, what mostly happens is that I smoke some weed and then just sit on the couch and this energy doesn't move down my body properly. So that can lead to having anxiety, brain fog, too many thoughts, and that can also lead to addictive tendencies like smoking, uh, like smoking weed or watching a bunch of porn or playing video games. Now, Aaron Doughty has a really interesting video called Why I Quit Smoking Weed. And there's a very, very interesting perspective that he uses in that video about Dr. David Hawkins' scale of consciousness. Now, Dr. David Hawkins' scale of consciousness, I'll put it right here, is basically a system or a model that maps out each level of consciousness and maps out your emotions, the emotions that you feel throughout the day and basically maps them out on a level and ranks them based on their level of vibration. So in general, the higher vibration emotions are gonna be the more positive ones that feel better. And then the lower vibration emotions like fear, jealousy, anger, those are going to be the lower vibration emotions and then the higher ones will be love, joy, bliss. So when you smoke weed, that is actually going to allow you to tap in to a certain level of vibration. So I think that smoking weed is the vibration of acceptance. Or actually, it might even be the vibration of neutrality. I'm not 100% sure, but it's, it's one of those middle vibrations. And that's why when you smoke weed, you generally feel very carefree. You generally don't feel very motivated to do anything ambitious. You just kind of want to sit down, relax, and enjoy life. And this is awesome for people who are below that level, um, that, that emotion of neutrality. So people whose vibration is in the 100s or in the 50s and whose dominant vibration, people who are always anxious or people who are always feeling guilty 
for these type of people, then smoking weed can be something that brings them up to that level of acceptance and helps them relax and enjoy life. And that's awesome. The problem is that if you are trying to improve yourself and improve your mental clarity by practicing meditation or improve your mental clarity by practicing yoga, reading books, doing personal development work, what's going to happen is your natural vibration, your natural dominant state of being is going to naturally be above that state that smoking weed brings you to. So naturally, you're going to be feeling love. You're going to be feeling bliss. This happens to me when I am having a really good meditation session or if it's a sunny day and I'm walking and I'm intentionally trying to be mindful and raise my consciousness, I feel that smoking weed actually becomes a hindrance because what it's doing at that point is actually bringing my consciousness from, let's say a base level of 400 is bringing it down to 220. So I think smoking weed can be good for you if your natural vibration, your dominant vibration is below 220. But as you start to develop yourself and become a more happy human being, independent of any drugs, then as you surpass that, then smoking the weed is actually going to be bringing you down. So that's a super interesting perspective that I'd like to credit Aaron Doughty for. Go check out his video. It's pretty interesting. And that's especially how I feel. When I first started smoking weed when I was 15, I felt like it was really elevating me and bringing me up and exposing me to a higher state of being. But as I kept smoking it and I kept meditating and developing myself and growing as a person, I started to feel like the weed was actually starting to bring me down, which is when I feel like it's a good idea to cut it, the weed smoking down significantly. So if you're interested in quitting weed, uh, you can check out my video benefits of quitting weed. I, I give a lot of advice for how to quit smoking weed. I personally, my relationship with weed is, is very interesting. I'll probably only smoke once a month and then I'll feel like I won't want to smoke again for another couple months. I don't really feel like I need to smoke weed. I was addicted to it at one point, but now I'm able to have a better relationship. One last tip that I want to leave you with that if you ever find yourself being really high and you basically don't want to be high anymore. This happens to me a lot because all of these thoughts that barrage my mind when I'm high, what I always find myself wanting to do is to bring all that energy down my body. And what helps me a lot is dancing. So if you ever find yourself being really high and you're in a social setting or you're by yourself, Definitely throw on some music and start dancing to some Bee Gees or some disco music or any music that you love to dance to. That is really going to help you bring all of that energy down and it actually helps you neutralize your high. So thank you so much. I hope you found this video interesting. That was how weed affects your mind. Now, as a more spiritual perspective, uh, this type of information is not really being talked about. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have yourself an amazing life. If you like this video, like, subscribe, uh, check out my video benefits of quitting weed if you're interested in quitting. I also have videos about meditation. If you're interested in starting your own meditation practice and increasing your mental clarity. So all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one.